back in February of 2023, Ron DeSantis signed House Bill 9B, establishing the Central Florida Tourism Oversight Board as a replacement to Disney's longstanding Reedy Creek Improvement District, which, of course, ended all of the bunch of tax breaks and uh, powers that Disney held in Florida. Uh, hours before the new board took control, Disney entered into last minute agreements with the Reedy Creek board to try and stop the new board from enforcing powers over the area. They sued. It was all this drama. And um, there were a lot of opponents of Ron DeSantis who said, ha ha, they've got him. He's not going to be allowed to do Disney's fighting back. Oh, well, fast forward to today. Disney has agreed to drop its lawsuit against Ron DeSantis, acknowledging the 11th hour deals it made with the outgoing Reedy Creek Improvement District are now null and void. So. Yeah, they probably can't afford the lawsuit after all the trash they're making, all the losses they're seeing at the box office. Yeah, you know, and also it turns out, at least in Florida, with, of course, Ron DeSantis, as you're talking about, the the strongest conservative governor in the country, Um Turns out when you do things like try to sexually indoctrinate children um, and confuse them, turns out you're held accountable in Florida. Yeah, hold on. I'm just going to I'm going to take this moment. See that? Mm -hmm, I do. What? It, what is that? It's the world's smallest violin. <laughs> oh, and it's oh. playing for Disney right now. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that sucker go. Yeah. No, I hope they go bankrupt. I do too. I think that they're they're an evil corporation. There I go. I said it. I mean, they have. There's look. I know people that work for them. I know that there's some really good people there, and I don't want that to impact them. They'll go and move because the people that I know are actually competent at what they do, and they'll go and they'll. Go. Matt, it's the same thing with public schools. I want public schools to go. I I want them to be completely upended. I'm sure there are some good teachers there who I hope land on their feet, but that doesn't mean that the institution isn't rotted. From the inside out, it's just completely rotted. It's same thing with Disney. It's just it's just garbage, and there's no fixing it because no matter how many people you have at a lower level who are good people or good at their jobs or whatever, the executives are making these decisions, and it affects the entire company. Yeah, I mean, and he's making. I said this uh, actually today on something else that that uh, Bob Iger is worth hundreds of millions of dollars, so he doesn't really care. Like personally, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter to him whether the whether the industry whether the Disney fails or not. The industry rejects what he's putting out out there but i think what is really insidious about disney is they have like how many years of great material that was out there that everyone grew up and they really love it and it reminds them of their childhood and they want to share that with their kids yes. it's um, that's a real leverage right that's real leverage when you're looking at uh, future stuff because you don't want to say, no, my kids can never watch Bambi anymore. My kids can never watch Snow White. You don't want that. And I, I always remember growing up as well, going to Disney was the vacation. Like if you went to Disney, you'd made it. And now it's, well, you've seen the mess that it is there. It's not what it used to be. So until the the power of of the economy pressures them to change they're not going to change we keep talking about this like you have to get involved you have to get involved whether that means not just boycotting like what you if you are on other people here that are watching this do subscribe to the blaze but there's a reason why you need to subscribe and support channels like the blaze because they are subscription only now like you have to do this it's not enough just to say i don't want to go and support this or buy that buy that film because disney for example they'll lose money but they still have snow white they still have mickey mouse they still have you know all these other things that are, are gonna they're forever gonna make money they are it's wh whether you like it or not now they might it might cause them to shrink it might cause them like they have already with star wars to stop making as much production mm -hmm. Like they, I think their movies have cut down. They were going to do three. Now there's one. Uh, the shows have certainly cut back. The MCU's cutting back. Uh, but really what we need to do is support other things and give them an alternative, like we said, an alternative yes. economy. Well, we're going to have a point where Disney will have to either choose their ideology or their, or their bank account. Mm -hmm. They will have that moment. And I think the people have been very clear about what they're doing is not what they want to show their kids. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I mean, look at how all the Disney kids turned out, right? They're, they're Disney star actors. I mean, that right, that right there should have been enough information of who these people were at the core of them. Because those kids were around the people who were producing all these things. Yeah. And yeah. I just, I can't wrap my head around a stranger wanting to talk to my child about sex. This is really just what just... I, I don't. I, I don't want to talk to my that. kids about. You know, it's awkward for me. Why would a stranger want to? And they fight well. so hard to have these conversations with kids. Yeah. 
trying to explain to them, you know, what non-binary is and you can change your gender. Why? Mm-hmm. Why? Mm-hmm. What, is, what is the actual point behind that? Yeah, I, I, it really does. It It's infuriating to me because um, my older son... Disney had not gone crazy yet and got to experience Disney with us. And now my younger son, we're like, we don't know if we're ever going to be able to mm-hmm. take him. Yes. I mean, we're not going to as it is right now. So unless they get their acts together, which I, I don't, maybe they will. I mean, you got to believe that Universal is like, <laughs> well, 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 look what we have here. An opportunity to uh, one up you guys, because not only is Disney not going to have all of these tax breaks and anything like that anymore, or they don't anymore. Um, people are rejecting them wholly uh, for the reasons that you guys are talking about. But there's an extra layer of like, they also started increasing their charges. They were charging to like breathe their oxygen. Mm -hmm. And you just can't do that at a time where everyone is struggling to make ends meet. They're barely being, they're barely able to pay their bills. Are they gonna, when they finally have, have gotten just barely enough to, to save, to go on a vacation, are they going to go to Disney for all of the all of those reasons? No, they won't. And so, I mean, maybe, maybe they'll change, but it we just pisses me off. We bought season passes to Universal. I think it was yeah. a few years ago. We bought seven passes to Universal. We went twice a month yeah. just to spite Disney. Because it's not <laughs> enough just to not give Disney money. You have to give their competition money. Right, right. And someone who will take them down a notch. Universal's expanding. they got a whole new park yep. they're building. Yep. Yep. And that's that's where we go. Um, anytime we go to an amusement park like that, that's where we go is Universal. And look, I'm not saying that they're perfect. Mm-hmm. They're not perfect. They sit like uh, I'm sure that they still had, you know, rainbow stuff in their gift shops. But you're certainly not going to have your young daughter walk into a, a princess boutique being greeted by a man wearing makeup in a tutu. Yes. Well, you know, the other thing is you, you mentioned the prices and it's uh, for those of us with the big families, right? They're pricing it's, you out. Well, it's one hundred and fifty dollars, I think it is, or one hundred and twenty five dollars for a ticket to go to because I, I, I used to live in California, yep. the communist state of California. So I have eight children. Children, right? So that's ten of us going to Disney. I'll, I'll let you do the math on that, right? And it doesn't matter how much money you make, yeah. right? It's th- that's a lot of money, and that is not what what Disney's vision no, was. Yes. It's what they're doing is they're pricing. And we're seeing this. They're pricing families actually mm-hmm. out of going. Mm-hmm. And who can go? It's the people with disposable income. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you, that's not big families, certainly not Christian big families that can go there that are already struggling to make ends meet. It is people from certain demographics that can afford it. I can't even imagine what your grocery bill is. <laughs> ours is uh, ours is almost $3,000 last Ooh. month five kids it's almost twice well not almost twice about one and a half times our mortgage which is absolutely insane we pay more for food than we do our mortgage wow that's joe biden's america also because you guys apparently don't know what causes children (laughs) no we do that's why we have so many (laughs) do (laughs) oh well i just (sighs) i don't really know how to end this well, now I, it got awkward. No, because people always say to me, like, they're like, oh, you got eight kids. Do you have a television? Don't you have a television? I'm like, <laughs> I like the other thing more than watching <laughs> yeah. television, to be honest. Maybe you guys aren't doing it correctly, because when you do it correctly, it's actually really fun. Yeah. So maybe that's the problem. TV? <laughs> what is... What is that? <laughs> um, all right. So, oh, by the way, last question on this. I know we have to take a break, but... Disney adults, weird or not weird? Super weird. Very weird, right? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm judging you. Unless you're just going to food and wine, which is completely acceptable. If you're going to the food and wine event, that's fine. Oh, is there a food and wine event There's a food and wine event. It's actually pretty amazing. They bring in like like, like a million dollars worth of flowers. It's actually very beautiful. Okay, well, I'll give... Well, I won't give you a pass at all if you're conservative and you're going to Disney for any reason, but... Prior to that, I give you a pass just for food and wine. Otherwise, I do think it is very strange. Mm-hmm. Matt's, very weird. Matt has something on the. He's trying not to say. It, it, you know, it's just it's just very weird. Adults wearing the ears. That always strikes me as odd. It's weird. Okay, all right. I'm glad I'm not alone. I'm sorry if any of you are Disney. I'm sorry. I'm not judging you. I, you you're just weird. Yeah. It's not me judging. It's just an objective fact. I'll judge. Love ya. Yeah. Be right back. If you like this clip and you want to see the full episode, click here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, come on. You know you do. Click here.